Up in my gang, get your own click. The bigger the bill, the harder you fall. Well, I'm throwing mine. Cause my money low. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why I come from the only thing we know is the bigger the bill. What's up, YouTube? This is Chad Elliott, your favorite apologist in the whole world, back with a brand new video. The Atheist Killer, right back at ya. <laughs> This is going to be a really quick video, man, because I've already made another video uh, called The Elliot Argument Makes No Claims About the Existence or Validity of God or the UC Option. And in that video, I talk about how the Elliot Argument is not special pleading because the Elliot Argument actually makes no claims about the existence or validity of God or UC Option. And how the reader of the argument may or may not come to the conclusion all on their own that a UC is or is not the preferred option. So if you haven't seen that video, please go over there uh, and check that out before watching this or when you're done here, then go over there and check it out. Now, since that's out of the way, if you don't know what the Elliot argument is by now, maybe you've been living in a hole or a cave like Bin Laden the past nine months. I'm not sure. But the Elliot argument is an irrefutable argument that is destroying atheism all around the planet. The argument makes the claim that space and time being eternal is irrational, illogical, and has no evidence. And also that something coming from pure nothingness and then creating entire universes is also irrational, illogical, and has no evidence. The argument then goes on to make the claim that if you deny or disbelieve in an uncreated creator option, which we call the UC, which atheists do, uh, then they, there are only two options that you're left with. So, for my argument to be special pleading for the UC option, I would have to define the UC in a similar manner as to these two acronyms and then try to explain for the UC that it's somehow not irrational or illogical like it would be for STE or SCP and CU. If I did that, then that would be special pleading, no doubt. For example, let me scroll down a little bit. For example, if I say space and time being eternal is irrational and illogical, and then say the UC option eternally exists in space and time, but that's not irrational or illogical, I would obviously be committing the fallacy of special pleading. But the point here is I'm not special pleading for the UC option at all. The UC is defined completely differently than either of the two acronyms. The UC is not STE because the UC by definition is spaceless and timeless up until the point of creation at which point he then becomes temporal. So I'm not special pleading for the UC in relation to STE here. And next, the UC is not SCP in CEU because the UC by definition is not pure nothingness. So with, so with the UC option, something never comes from pure nothingness and then creates entire universes like the SCP and CEU option. This, um, so for this, I am not special pleading for the UC in relation to SCP and CEU either, just like I'm not special pleading for it in relation to STE. And that's really all I have to say about that. That's it. I mean, it's obviously not special pleading. I've now proven it in two ways that the Elliott argument in no way commits this fallacy for God or for the UC option in the Elliott argument, and the Elliott argument still remains undefeated. Come on, man. Special pleading, please. <laughs> nice try, fellas. I'm out. Chad Elliott, the Atheist Killer. I hope you all have a good night. I'll see you soon. Keep checking my channel for new videos. Um, and that's it. I'm out of here. Peace. Yo.